Alrighty guys, so I finished part one of the Shiny Mew special research. Now, I had to do the other part off camera because I was quite sick, I had the flu, unfortunately, but now we're going to claim this part one. Get that poffin, claim this stuff, one premium pass, stardust, XP. Wow, Discorded Soul. Great work. Your knowledge of the Kanto region is beginning to rival even my own. Our next task is to learn more about Pokemon DNA. I know that sounds pretty heavy on the science, but don't worry. I'll take care of that part. All I need you to do is get out and catch lots of different types of Pokemon. Mew's DNA is said to contain the genetic codes of all Pokemon, so to better understand Mew, we should try to understand as much as we can about the genetics of other Pokemon. So it looks like I have to catch 30 of each type. So that's going to take a while. I have to catch 151 different species of Pokemon and catch a Pokemon 30 days in a row. So that's a lot and that'll take a little bit. So um, yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get that done. Alrighty guys, I finally finished part 2 of the all-in-one number 151, aka the shiny Mew special research. So let's just claim this last XP. Took me the longest to catch the 30 dragon and the 30 dark types, but luckily Rayquaza came back and I was able to get those remaining dragon types I needed. So let's claim this. 1510 Stardust, and there's that. Incredible work, Discorded Soul. Seeing you learn so much about different Pokemon reminded me of how vast the world of Pokemon truly is. Knowledge is funny in that the more we gain, the more we realize how much we still lack. Some might find that frustrating, but for me, it's inspiring. You know, there's a part in that sea shandy I mentioned before that seems applicable here. I don't remember the exact words, but the gist is that we should travel across the land, searching far and wide to learn about all the amazing Pokemon there are in the world. Words to live by, I say. Let's get out there and track down that shiny Mew trainer. So let's see what I have to do next. It's going to be at the very top. So I'm not sure what the first one is. I assume it was a metal, like a platinum metal or something. But I got 4,000 Stardust. Spin 151 Pokestops. Complete 151 field research tasks. Walked 151 kilometers. That's going to take me a little bit. And catch 1,510 Pokemon. So hopefully that won't take too long but I'm gonna start working on it now and hopefully get back to you guys soon so I'm pretty excited to get the shiny Mew I hope that's what this encounter is but it's gonna be a little bit probably I'm gonna say maybe a month or so cuz I don't walk that much outside but hopefully with Snivy community Day coming up I can get some kilometers racked up and work on the walking 151 kilometers that's gonna take the longest time I believe so, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I complete this step. Alrighty, guys, so I finally, finally, after months and months, walked the 151 kilometers required to get Shiny Mew. So let's claim that. Be a little slow, I guess, because I don't have very good service. There we go. Sweet. And a mysterious Pokemon it must be in AR mode, so we're going to start our encounter. And look at that, there's the shiny Mew with the sunset, and it's so pretty. And uh, yeah, I'm going to work on catching this Mew. I did it. I caught the Mew. So let me see if it's any good. 1378. It is. Come on, come on. Tell me how good it is. Three star. That's not bad. That's better than my other Mew. It's very adorable. 
And uh, of course I'm going to transfer it to Pokemon Home, but not right now. I'm going to hang on to it for a while. So um, yeah, there's Shiny Mew. And let's see what the professor has to say. Discorded Soul, you, you did it. You actually found and caught a Shiny Mew. Has it even sunk in yet? This is monumental achievement, trainer. Take a moment to congratulate yourself. Hmm? It's my achievement as well? Haha, <laughs> no. No, I just hummed you a shanty and guided you like any Pokemon professor or worth their sea salt would. But thanks are certainly in order for the Pokemon you've befriended on your journey. They played a big part in your research after all. The ones you've caught, the ones you've battled with, and the ones that traveled with you as your buddy. Each Pokemon played a critical part in helping you achieve this goal. As trainers, we owe an eternal debt to our Pokemon. After all, we can't very well be trainers without them. A trainer's journey is meant to be filled with amazing memories, ambitious dreams, and unexpected adventures. I think this particular journey checked all those boxes pretty hand handily. I'm sure it won't be the last to do so either. Now until next time, let's go! So that's it for the research. Just gotta claim these rewards and I get my shiny Mew shirt. Come on, claim. Claim. And I'm gonna claim these. And put my Mew shirt on. There we go. And I'm gonna put Mew as my buddy now. So let's change my shirt. I'll do it later. My service isn't very good. Um, but I'm gonna take some pictures with Shiny Mew.